Now let's look at this figure 21-23. Uh, and basically this figure deals with wiring methods used for limited flexibility in a class 1 uh, division 2 location in accordance with 501.10 uh, B1 through uh, 7. And notice it deals with uh, wiring methods and flexibility. Notice at the very top of the illustration, uh, we have rigid metal conduit. We have a, a, a 90 degree type L. We're coming into a factory sealed enclosure, so no seal. But below that, we have equipment that is, isn't factory seal in accordance with 501.15, so we have to seal it within 18 inches, as you see. Then down at the very bottom, we have a seal, and we have an a MI cable, uh, or we may have a flexible uh, uh, wiring method that is listed, where you see, for limited flexibility. It's the boxed-in information right next to the motor. And we could use FM fittings, FMC fittings, uh, liquid-type flexible metal conduit or tubing. Uh, we could use uh, uh, flexible cord under certain conditions. And uh, notice you would need a, a, a seal there, but if it's in my cable, then you wouldn't necessarily need a seal without the engineer said, no, we're going to uh, use a seal there. Now, the wiring methods that you could use at the top of the illustration, uh, notice rigid metal conduit, IMC, uh, enclosed gasket busways under certain conditions, enclosed gasket wireways, and then look at this laundry list, MI cable, uh, MC, medium voltage, uh, tray cable, MCHL cable, uh, uh, you, you could use the uh, ITCH uh, 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 hazardous location type cable, and, and you could use a PLTC, ITC cable. And notice there's a laundry list once you become a Class 1 Division 2, but not so in a Class 1 Division 1. You can't use some of these wiring methods that you use here because we're in a Class 1 Division 2 type location. So that's exactly uh, what this uh, figure, 21-23, uh, is illustrating to the user of the NEC.